Oh my friends, this is happening. I have saved my empties for six months and this is really happening. I am diving into these. This is going to be super fast speed reviews. I'm going to tell you if I liked it or if I didn't very quickly and the reason. Stick around. We are going to get into speed reviews of all my empties over the past six months. We're not gonna slow down. We're just gonna dive in. Whatever's in front of me, we're gonna do. This is from Dove. This is their exfoliating bo body polish. I loved this in the shower. I would do this body polish on my legs because I get that little bumpy stuff and even after I shave, but I do it on my legs to kind of get that bumpy stuff gone and a little bit of hydration there. And then I would go in and I would shave my legs after I rinse this off and they were so smooth. I loved this. I will repurchase it. Heavenly, heavenly fragrance. This one is the mango and so good. I love all of Dove's products for the shower. They're so great. And then I also purchased this one from, I don't even know who this is from. You know what? I'm just going to get the readers on because I'm not going to be able to see all this. So I might as well just get these on and tell you. So this is from um, Art Naturals. And this is a purple hair mask that I have. Now, this was okay. It says it removes yellow and brassy tones. This was okay. I won't repurchase it again because I do have others that I like so much better than this. It wasn't quite purple enough for me to give my hair a little bit more of an ashy tone. It didn't quite do the trick for me. And the other one is coming. I will show you. This one is the Aussie three minute miracle moist deep condi deep conditioner. Love the fragrance of this. It's very vanilla-y, almost a little bit of coconut. This is super good if you have very dry hair. Now, since I cut my hair, I haven't really needed this deep of a conditioner, but if you're somebody that ha that needs that deep conditioning, this one will really make your hair soft. So these products right here for hair were sent to me. These were sent from Cara Health and there is the follicle hero shampoo follicle heel hero conditioner and then they sent me their hair supplement for women and i don't know if it was at the time my hair was just going through something i mean i cut seven inches off of my hair because my hair was just having a time with falling out and looking straggly and it had no luster to it and so i really felt like i had to cut some off in order for it to look more healthy you know i hate to say that this didn't do anything for me but it, it didn't do much for me so just so you know that karenique the scalp, scalp stimulating shampoo promotes micro microcirculation strengthens and thickens reduces buildup and blockage i loved this as far as how clean my hair felt afterwards I don't know, again, if it did anything for my follicles, if it stimulated it, like it said. You know, this is one that I was had high hopes about, but I don't think that it was all that great. Now, one that I have used, I might have another one in here somewhere, one that I have used for a long time, and I love this. This is from Pure Body Naturals. This is the Restore and Strengthen hair loss prevention therapy shampoo for men and women. This has a DHT blocker. DHT is what attacks the follicles and, you know, does um, have our hair fall out. And so this, that has this in here. You put this on and you massage it for five minutes. And I really love this one. Not only does it get my hair clean and I, you know, feel like it's done its job, but I also did really love it for how it kept my hair. And I just feel like this one did a better job than any of those really pricey ones and i've bought this for years and years so i love that also from away this is their leave-in conditioner this is a really good leave-in however i like it's a 10 a little bit better it's it's kind of my one that i go back to and i love in a whole i love it a lot more it gives me a lot more shine than this one does really all this one is yeah. is just a protectant and a detangler so i kind of revert back to it's a 10 instead of that one Li my dogs are gonna say hi living proof full dry volume blast i really like this if you have very fine limp hair this is like just a really great shot of volume and if you are somebody like me that has short shorter hair, you're going to get even more volume from this. My hair is very fine and very limp and very straight. And so this just really gives a great blast at your roots. And then you just kind of, you know, run your fingers through it and you get some more volume. 
I really did enjoy using this. However, my very favorite of giving volume and that kind of thing is the triple sec from dry bar. This is the three in one. It texturizes, amplifies and refreshes. So this is like a dry shampoo with all those volume products in there as well. I love this. This is one that is a bit too expensive, but I can't find a dry shampoo at the drugstore that is a less expensive one than this that I really like. So I just kind of stock TJ Maxx and Marshalls and pick these up in bulk whenever I can grab them and find them. They're just really great. And then I told you that I had a purple toner. This is the uh, from Pravana. This is the perfect blonde mask. It's just one that just does, just has the uber purple in there. I mean, it is a blue, blue, bright purple, but boy, this will take down the brass and you only really need to use this like every third shampoo. So you put what, put it on once you can go two more shampoos and then you can go ahead and put it on. At least that's what I found with my hair. I love this. I probably have another one in here somewhere. I go through these like crazy. It's a really thick mask. It's very pigmented and that's what I love about it. And it just keeps those brassies down for me. I really like it. Minoxidil. When my hair did start falling out, I got back to this. This is one that I just really love. This is the Kirkland one. I can get these on Amazon for way cheaper than you can get the actual Nioxin, which is the brand name. So this one says it's for men. I use this strength because my dermatologist told me to go ahead and use this strength even though it says it's for men the women's is two percent and this is five and it's just a stronger um, concoction of it i love it because immediately i can notice that my hair stops falling out and that it does start to regrow and i like that about it but the bad thing about using minoxidil is when you stop you're going to notice that you have a shed afterwards and you're going to get a little bit of hair loss but i use this it comes with a dropper on the the first one that you get and so you use one dropper of it i put it on at night now i will say that um it doesn't exactly work well with hair products so if you're going to be using a lot of hair products you're going to notice that your hair is a little bit dirtier the next day but it's worth it to me to be able to get my hair back in good condition and to get it regrowing again and thicker. So I love, love, love that. Now, one of the products that I love is from OGX. This is their big hairspray, bamboo fiber full big hairspray with bamboo fibers and plant collagen. And this gives you the best hold. Now, I learned about this from Melissa55 and um, it's almost a dead on dupe for the Kenra volume 25. I love Kenra and it has been my ride or die hairspray. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't know, 15, 20 years. But if you are on a budget or you're watching your pennies and you can't afford the Kenra, this is a really good hairspray that will hold your hair. It is a little bit more on the side of, you know, you know, you have hairspray. It's not, I don't want to say crunchy cause it's not, but you know, you have hairspray when you've used this, whereas the Kenra will still, you'll still be able to get, you know, a really soft feel, but this one is a, it's a pretty darn good close dupe. I normally color my own hair once every six months, I will go in and I will have my hair highlighted a little bit or low lights put into it and whatever I feel like I need this time. I had some low lights put in it, but I, color my hair from then on usually for six months because it's just too dang expensive to go to the salon so i use l'oreal and i either use preference or i use excellence and that's what these are these are just the little conditioners that come in them that you use up afterwards i love those they're great conditioners that keep your hair really silky and soft from Os oscar blondie i blonde blondie i don't know how it's said this is the hair lift thickening and strengthening mousse plumps and expands the hair, long lasting fullness, strong, flexible hold. This is not very flexible. <laughs> this is an uber hold on your hair. Now, if you like that, if you need extra hold, if you need a product that's going to really give you something that you're going to be able to curl and it's going to hold and you're going to get that thickness from, this is really good. I, this is probably the third one I've had or the fourth one I've had, but know that you're going to feel like you have product in your hair. And that's what I like to say about this. Every time I run out of it and I show it in my empties, if you pick this up, you're going to feel like 
like you do have something in your hair. It's not going to feel weightless. You're going to, you know, know you have something in your hair that's holding your hair, but boy, does it hold and boy, does it give you a lot of thickness and volume. I love that stuff. And then this one is from Away also, and this is the texturizing hairspray. I didn't like this one at all. For my limp hair, it just could not do the trick. It just made it feel greasy and yucky. I also have another hair growth product. I don't know how to say this either. It's V-E-G-A. So I'm assuming it's Vega. Vega More. These are a hair growth serum that I got from them. I'm on my third bottle. And this one, I'm not, I'm going to discontinue. I have it on a subscription, but I am going to discontinue it because I don't feel like it's doing that much for me. Um, it's, it boasts that it's supposed to not only help the thickness of your hair and, you know, boost growth and all that, but it's supposed to help the health of your hair. And I don't feel like it's done any of that. Um, I have been using the Nioxin or the Minoxidil now, and I feel like it's doing much more for me. So I probably won't repurchase those. This is another one from Away. I must have gotten a little sampler of theirs. This is the dry shampoo foam. I don't like this one either. It makes my hair just feel dirty instead of giving it a refresher. It just made it feel dirty. So this one actually isn't all the way used up, but I'll tell you about it because it was not a good one. Now in the shower, um, my husband can only use Dove, the deep moisture one. He has very ear, he has very dry skin from having diabetes and we live in a very, very dry cl climate. So he loves using this. This is his number one. My number one in the shower when I can afford it, and it goes on sale on QVC, is from Philosophy. Now, it's not because I, the product is fantastic, because it's really just a basic body wash, but this is the Falling in Love fragrance, and this is the most I love this fragrance. It's just, if you've ever smelled Trish, Mac, Trish McAvoy's number nine, which I talk about on my channel all the time, this is that fragrance. It's exactly, the difference is, is that falling in love does not last at all like Trish McAvoy does. I've had the, the perfume and I've had the body lotion and all these, but that fragrance is in the shower. It's just divine. It's just a, just a sexy, sweet blackberry, vanilla, yummy smell, and I really love that. This so one is the Dove Dry, Sp Dry Spray Go Fresh Antiperspirant, and I use this all over the body, not just, you know, all over the body, and I really like this. This is a great one from the drugstore. It keeps you very fresh all day long. However, I like more than that is the Lumi. Now, I'm going to disclaimer this by saying that this one is the coconut. This is the deodorant one that I've used all up. Pretty much the same as the lotions that come in the bigger tube. But this doesn't have a good fragrance to it at all. It doesn't last a long time, but it's not a good fragrance. But when it talks about on that commercial, I don't know if you've seen that on YouTube or not, but it's got the pair of pants standing there. And she's saying, use a tiny bit of Lumi and kiss your stinky butt goodbye. And then her pants talk back goodbye. Anyway, I love that commercial, but this does work that good. So if you are somebody like me, I sweat. I have boob sweat. I have sweat everywhere. I use this everywhere and it is it just is fantastic 72 hours this boasts of course I take a shower a little bit more often than that 48 hours but for those 48 hours I am fresh as a daisy and it really is nice because I know that this has natural ingredients in it but if you're expecting something to come and it's a fantastic fragrance, it's not. It has a funky little smell with that coconut, just so you know that. But this is something that I've repurchased over and over again. Have several of them in my cabinet right now. I use a lot of lotion, but this lotion is terrible. I had to get rid of it. This is the Palmer's, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Firming Body Butter Plus Q, CoQ10. This one kind of balled up every time I used it. Now I just was like, I'm not going to use that. It's got an okay fragrance, but um, no, I think that it's, you know, because it balls up, it's not what I'm going to repurchase from. Okay, we're getting into some skincare now. Okay, Glam Glow. This is the Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Mask. This was okay. It wasn't anything that I would repurchase again because I just didn't find that it was hydrating or exfoliating or anything like that. It was just one that was just okay. So that one I'm not going to repurchase. This one is from Lancome. This is the Cream Mousse Comfort Cleansing Creamy Foam with Rose Extract for dry skin. 
this is terrible. This leaves a terrible film behind. And this one is this full because I only used it like four times and then I'm like, nope, can't have none of that. And I don't know if you're like me, but I am on the hunt all the time for the perfect sunscreen. And these two didn't make the mark. This one is from Babo Botanicals, Daily Sheer Sunscreen, Extra Sensitive for Face, SPF 40, Broad Spectrum. From It's a mineral. This one balled up as well. This one is from Altruist. This is um, one that I actually sent over to England to get because Dr. Dre talked about how great it is in what its um, ingredients and stuff are. And I'm sure that's true. But this balled up for me as well really bad. So that one, even on my arms and stuff, couldn't use it up either of those. These are a couple of cleansers that I got sent from Pixie. Pixie gives me the nicest PR and I adore that company because they look at the little guy and they don't pass this over, but they do have some fantastic cleansers. I think this one is the Jasmine Retinol. Obviously you don't need retinol when you're doing your cleansing because you're just going to wash it off, but it was a really good cleanser for after I used my cleansing balms or oils. And then this one is the Hydrating Milky Cleanser. Now I will say that this one was quite hydrating um, and didn't make my skin feel like it was stripped or anything. So I love Pixie for their cleansers. They're really great. Speaking of cleansing oils. This is the one from Hadalabo, um, that parent company. I think it's, I can never say the name of it. Anyway, this lasted me the full six months. I just barely ran out of this probably a month and a half ago. So this is like four, five and a half months or so of, you know, really using this faithfully every single day to take my makeup off. And it lasted a super long time. Takes your makeup off slicker than snot. I hate that phrase and I can't believe I just said it, but it does. It comes just straight off and I absolutely love that. We'll repurchase that one again when I'm done with my balms. I kind of switch off between balms and oils. Also from that same company, the parent company of Hadalabo, this one is a vitamin C essence. It feels very watery, so you're going to get a ton of hydration in there, but you also get that vitamin C in there, which I love. I absolutely love that. There was just a little bit left, so it's going to go on my hand. So I love this product and there's another minoxidil in there. This one is also from Hadalabo and this is the hydrating cleanser. This is the gentle one. Now I would use the oil first and then use this one after and just takes off any residuals of that oil, but it didn't leave me feeling stripped. So I loved this one as well. I would repurchase that one. This is another, um, cleansing gel. This one is from Good Molecules. I am a Good Molecules fiend. I love that line. It's super affordable. They sell it on Beautylish and I believe that they are just bringing it to Ulta, which I'm so excited about. I think it's a fantastic skincare line and you can get such good ingredients without having it just break the bank. And I, I love them. Also, that is one of my ride or die skincare products and I use, I have another one of these that's almost empty. This is the niacinamide brightening toner from Good Molecules. This has niacinamide, vitamin C, alpha arbutin and licorice root in it to brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores. It brightens my skin so good. And I kid you not, when I first started using this, which was probably maybe I don't remember when it was released, but whenever it was released, I started using it. I want to say it was two years ago. And at first I was like, am I imagining this or is this really happening? Three weeks into using this, my pores were visibly reduced, visibly smaller. And I kept thinking, is this for real? And then I was watching Glitzy Fritzy, my friend Mary on her channel, and she was saying the same thing. And I was like, it's not just me. I'm not just crazy. This is really works really good. So if you have enlarged pores, it's going to go in there. It's going to clean them out. It's going to make your face look brighter. I won't be without this. I love this product. Bifida is what you find in Lancome's Genifique and Estee Lauder can't remember what the other one is called. Anyway, it's what the active ingredient that you find in there and bifida is so brightening and helps wrinkles. And it's a fermentation process that really does help soften wrinkles and brighten your skin. And that's what these two are. But this one also has galactomyces in it. Now, if you have ever looked on Sephora and you've seen the SK2 or SK11, whatever they want to call it, II, that is what is in here. And this is the secret key starting treatment essence. This is galactomyces super hydrating and super brightening. So this product right here has this one and this one in it. 
um, together. So you're getting like, I think it's like 60% or something like that of the bifida, 30% of the galactomyces. I love these products. They are super brightening for me. I absolutely think they are fantastic. I purchased these all over and over again, but right now I'm using my third or fourth one of these just because I was trying to pare down my skincare routine to like four products instead of like 10. So yeah, I really do love these. A couple of products that I feel like I wouldn't go out and repurchase are from the Inky List. Bakucci oil, Bakucci oil, I think that's how you say it. Bakucci oil all yeah i have no idea how you say it anyway this is supposed to be better than retin-a i didn't find that it did much and this was my second one yeah, that one didn't impress me too much maybe it just doesn't have the right amount of it in there strong enough you know extra strength and then polyglutamic acid from them this is supposed to be four times as hydrating as hyaluronic acid and we all know that hyaluronic acid does a thousand times its weight in water, holds a thousand times its weight in water. So 4,000 times. I don't think I found that that was the case here. <laughs> so I probably won't repurchase that one. One that I will repurchase is this from Cause de Baja. I talked about this so many times. This is the Matrixol 3000 Peptide Serum Argyroline and Pure Hyaluronic Acid in here. This is really hydrating. I really love it. It just... It's one of those ones that I'll go back to over and over again, especially with the peptides in it. Peptides are so good for aging skin. Love that stuff. One that I absolutely dislike with every part of my being is from Strivectin. Strivectin. This is their TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. I used one whole of these and then I went to another one and this one is almost full. I don't like this stuff. It balls up so badly on your neck and you can't ever wear makeup over top of it. It makes me sweat. It balls up. I'm like, well, what's the use of this if it's balling up? Is that what they're trying to do is make it? I don't know what the point of this is because it didn't change my neck at all and it just didn't feel like it was going to do anything because it wasn't sinking in. It was all balling up. I found that on a lot of neck creams and I'm not crazy about a lot of that. Skin and Company. This is their truffle therapy. So this says it has extracts of truffle, candelua, rose, and rosemary among many others. And they blended it in to deeply purify the skin while toning it. I don't feel like it did much for my skin. So that one's a no for me. This one was a yes. This is Imagine Dermatology. Imagine Dermatology's Hyaluronic Hydration Honey Supercharged Moisture Complex. This does have the polyglutamic acid in it, hyaluronic acid in it. It also has, what else? It has Dermal Amino Acid Complex. It has urea, trehalose, and lactic acid. Super hydrating. If you have very, very dry skin, this is great. And I forgot about it, and I'm going to put it to the side because I do want to reorder that one. This one is also from Good Molecules, their Discoloration Correcting Serum. I used this whole bottle and didn't feel like I liked it more than the niacinamide toner. So I'm not going to repurchase this one. I'm just going to continue to repurchase the um, niacinamide toner that I love from them. This one is one of, should have been like one of three. I have a bottle and a half in my cupboard over there. This is the Urea Moisture Lotion from Suko Yakosuhara absolutely adore this urea is one of those products that is hyper hydrating i also have their cream and i thought i had in there somewhere the eye cream i use all three of their products this one right now they're having a hard time getting it shipped here so if you order it you might have to get it out of japan and wait a couple of weeks but this to me is worth ordering every time i think i did get this one on walmart found it on walmart for somebody that was asking me about it so the other two, the eye cream and the regular cream, you can find on Amazon. And I, this is in every single skincare video that I ever do because I love this for my dry skin. This is not like a typical cream. So the, the actual cream product of theirs, that one is, the essence is called the lotion, but this is not a cream. Let me tell you what it's more like. It's more like a balm. It feels like a lip balm that you might put on or that you might get out of a pot. It is just, here's my full one right here at my bedside. So you know that this is my ride or die product for keeping my skin super hydrated overnight. I'll do all of my skincare. I lock it in with this, even my oil. And I can just, you know, put it on my eyes, put it on my forehead. My forehead gets super dry. My lips get super dry. I'll put it all around my lips, all around my eyes, wake up in the morning. I can go like this. It still feels tacky. I love this stuff. 
I will repurchase that a million jillion times. Super Oxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist from Niod. I had heard so many good things about this. And it is super hydrating and it is a great antioxidant for fighting off free radicals. But for me, I don't feel like it did as much as I was expecting it to. I don't know, maybe I figured it was gonna give me a new face in a squirt bottle, I don't know. <laughs> It really didn't do that much for me. So that's a no. This one is the overnight exfoliating treatment from good molecules This is great 10% AHA and BHA and so you're getting both of those that are great exfoliants It's a really great dupe for the Sunday Riley good jeans So if you like that you're gonna like this I actually was using this for a time just as a mask that I would do during the day and then wash it off Because my skin was super sensitive at the time and it did the trick really good I love that one too and then I have a few from the ordinary that I was working through. This is a niacinamide. Like I said, I used that one, the toner from Good Molecules. So even though that's a really great one for just being niacinamide, I probably won't repurchase that one again. This is the Virgin Marula Oil and then the Buffet with Copper Peptides. I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this one or not because Good Molecules has one as well and I really like it. So that's by Smuckers on our way out. But the Marula Oil, it, again, we're talking Drunk Elephant, $72. And this one is like, I wanna say it's around eight. Dupe for that one. So yeah, you'll have to look at some of my skincare dupe videos because The Ordinary really does dupe a lot. Dermatology, the Needless Serum. This is supposed to be better than Botox in a bottle. That's the Needleless Serum. I don't feel like it is and I probably won't repurchase that this one just because it's a lot of money and I didn't see the big payoff. And so for me, that's one that just really kind of missed the mark. But from dermatology that I have repurchased many times is their tinted moisturizer with an SPF of 46 and it's anti-aging. So it has great skin loving ingredients in it, but you get that great SPF in it as well. And it has a little bit of a tint. So if you're just wanting something that you can, you know, put all over your skin, evens out a tiny bit. It's not great about it, but this is really good. So if you like the Australian gold tinted SPF, you might really like this one. It's a little bit lighter than that one is as far as weight, not color, just a little bit lighter weight. Really love that one. And then I went through this from Radiant Soul. I really did like this. This is the brightening moisturizing cream. I like this one a lot. Very light cream. If you're somebody that has oily skin, you might really enjoy this one. I was using it as my day cream. Not uber hydrating, but people that are normal to oily really do like this one. And I, yeah, I really enjoyed using it up. I don't know if I'll repurchase it or not with my dry skin, maybe in the summertime because it is a little bit lighter and I get a little bit more moisture on my face in the summertime. From Dermatology, again, this is the Peptide Night Cream. I was using this for a day cream. I think this one's really good. I do think it's full of really great ingredients and the peptides, and I really did actually like this one a lot. So yeah, that's one that I can report on and say, yes, this is one that I will repurchase if I get the chance to. This is the Secret Key Starting Treatment Eye Cream that has galactomyces in it. Okay, this is really great for it being a treatment. I don't feel like it was the best eye cream. It wasn't super emollient. It didn't give me what the Suko Yaka Suhara does in this super hydration that helps those fine lines and wrinkles and you know troughs underneath my eyes that are so crinkly. So it didn't plump them up, but over time, this is more of like, I would think it would be an eye serum type thing, even though it's, you know, it's thicker, it's a cream, but it didn't do that much for me. So I'm probably not going to repurchase it. The under eye recovery eye treatment from City Beauty. Same thing about this. This is a cream consistency, but I'm not gonna repurchase that one because it just didn't do as much for me as I wanted it to. Dermaputics, I purchased this one as well. The Hyaluronic Eye Lift. Again, I'm looking for moisture. And this one, it was okay. It gave a lot of moisture, but it was gone quickly, which tells me that it only has maybe one or two different hyaluronic acids in it when you need many, many more. This was a sample, and I don't know where I got it from. It came with something else I was getting from a skincare company. This is Lay Day Vitamin C Energy Ampule Whitening and Anti-Wrinkle Effect. In this little bottle that I got, I didn't feel like it did that much for anti-wrinkle. And then this one is the 8% retinol from, I can't even read that, Le Claire. I think that's what it's called. I really wanted a stronger retinol in order to, you know, supplement my use of the actual Trentinoin that I get in the prescription. 
This didn't do it, but The Ordinary has one that will that will do it. And I'm going to link that below because if you're interested, that stuff has really impressed me. I'll talk about that in another video. Oh, here's my Suko Yaka Suhata eye cream. It's got cut apart and I've used every last little bit of it. Yeah, so that was in there. I thought that I would have one in there for sure. And then the Olay Eyes, I actually sent over to England to get this one too because you can't get it. This is the Pro Retinol Eye Treatment didn't do that much for me. So I feel like that's not really something I'm going to recommend to you guys. Simply beautiful vitamin A complex. It to have retin-A in it. It didn't do that much. I couldn't see much difference. From Strivectin, this is the lip treatment. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Use this whole thing up. Didn't notice a change in my lips at all, but I did when I used City Beauty. This one is used completely up. I love City Beauty's lips. I have been using this for probably, uh, this is a little tiny bit left, probably six months or so. And I love what my, is happening to my lips. My lips for the first time, I'm noticing a change in those vertical lines because I have them really, really bad. And yeah, this is so good. I love this. I really do like these. And I wish that they weren't quite so dang expensive because I can't just sit here and say, oh yeah, go for it. This I is another one of theirs just in a color, San Diego. San Diego. But yeah, again, I know that they're $35 for a lip gloss is a lot, but I feel like it's a lip treatment. So yeah, this is from Fenty Beauty. I didn't use this one all the way up because it has grit in it. Ooh, I don't like that at all. What is this one called? So I can tell you guys, pretty, pretty please. That's what this one is called. Sorry about the phone. This one has that little bit of grit in it. So it's like halfway full, but these all I did use up. This one you can't even get anymore. It's from Makeup Revolution. It was a really nice one with a little pearl in it. Really liked it. This one from Buxom I used as a nighttime treatment as well. This one is called Aurora. Don't ever buy this if you're thinking that you want a pretty lavender colored lip gloss because this one is like mud purple. <laughs> It's not that great. I used it at night because nobody saw me in it. But yeah, it gives, it's so patchy and it gives the worst color on your lips. You're going to look like you've got blue lips. This one I do love. This is Blush from L'Oreal. And this is the 8-Hour La Gloss. I love this. I have backups of this. These glosses last, but they don't have a super sticky feel to them. I love these because they last all day long. So if you have been thinking about these and they took them away and... Yeah, if you like that, you want to try it, you might want to hop on that bandwagon. Do not buy the Equate, Walmart brand, Beauty Instant Cleansing Spray for sponges, makeup sponges and brushes. Basically, all this does, you spray it on your brush and it does get them clean, but I think it's an oil. And I'm, I'm not particularly happy about that because then you have a little bit of an oil residue on your brushes. Yeah, don't buy that one. I also used up a Grande Lip Sample. This is nothing like the City Beauty one. It's almost as expensive in the full, but it's not as good. The so Sephora Line Up Makeup Tape. My last tutorial I did, which I will link below, I showed you guys how to use this. I use it on, every time I do my eye makeup. It gives a beautiful lift to your eyes. I usually use one of these up every six months, maybe, sometimes two every six months. Love those things. And then I have a bunch of fragrances because I've been trying fragrances for a long time. This one from Givenchy, I can't even say it. It says it's called Lil Inter, Inter something. Anyway, I didn't like that one. This one is Burberry Her. So good. Very fresh, very floral, citrus at the same time so pretty just a pretty pretty this one is the lancome idol this one is not used because one squirt and i couldn't do that one <laughs> this one is from kle this is huda beauty's fragrance line that she does with her sister and this is so pretty this one i think this one is the vanilla and that one is my favorite one it's so pretty has the most beautiful fragrance and it lasts for a long, long time. Viva La Juicy, this one is La Bubbly, I used up. This one is La Fleur, I used up. So I've used up those. And then I also used up a Marc Jacobs Daisy Dreams that I got in a scent bird. And then this one is the, um, the new fragrance from Brazilian, the Boom Boom Cream or the Bum Bum Cream. This one is the fragrance and I have a big one of these and I used up that little one. So yeah, love those. 
And then about makeup, I only have two things that I used completely up. The Wow Brow from e.l.f. and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. The Wow Brow from e.l.f. has little fibers in it that really will catch all the little hair that you have on your brows, and it will really make them more voluminous if you do have any to work with. I love this stuff. Sometimes I don't even have to use anything else other than that, and it's in ash brown. And then this one right here is the Ride or Die product from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This product took me about two years to completely use it up before I had to buy another one. Love it. It completely takes out any veining, any redness on the eyes, makes your eyeshadow pop. Hold your eyeshadow on like crazy because it is a fantastic primer. Last product is from X Lash. Right now, again, they are having a terrible time getting this from overseas. This is made in France and it is the um, eyelash growth serum that I use. I've talked about it, made videos on it over and over again. It makes super long lashes in four weeks and it's fantastic, but right now you can't get it. So when it does come back in stock, I will make sure that I update all of you. And I think that's it. That was a ton. I know this video is going to be long. I talked really fast, but six months of empties, that's pretty dang good speed reviews. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for sticking with me if you stuck till the end. I really do appreciate that. Love you guys. Not going to take any more time. See you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.